Hey guys, welcome to our fish showcase series. This is a first video in a series of videos we're going to be shooting on uh, community fish for your aquariums. We're going to start with some of the smaller schooling species and then we're going to progress to some other categories of fish. We're going to look at things like the size they get to, what you feed them, the water conditions they prefer, the tank mates, a little bit about their origins and so forth. So. Uh, just to help you along making some wise choices for your aquarium. So let's, right get, let's get right into it. It's uh, the first one that we're going to be covering today is Hyphesobrichon Herbert Axelrodi, which is the black neon tetra. Really cool little fish. It originates from South America, specifically from uh, Brazil and Bolivia, those countries in particular. It comes from slower moving uh, streams. Uh, most of them are kind of tea colored, stained with uh, tannins and so forth. They prefer, uh, their pH ranges vary a little bit. In fact, they vary between six and seven, low sevens approximately for pH, relatively soft to medium hard water. Um, some of their locations or some of the localities they come from do have dense plant growth. And of course, the type of uh, setup or structure they prefer they originate from is a kind of a sandy, white sandy bottom, leaf structure with some pebbles and so forth. When it comes to behavior and type of tank that they're suitable for, it's important to note the fact that they're a peaceful, smaller uh, tetra, not the smallest kind. They get a little bit larger, so they do make them uh, suitable in community tank setups that might have some medium or larger fish. They're not that small. Uh, the difference between males and females, in fact, is that, that males are slimmer, females are more fuller bodied, they're a little bit larger in size. Uh, very distinguishing uh, feature about the black neon tetra is the red to dark orange circle around their their eyes it's contrasting and the longitudinal white kind of beige to green overtone stripe that goes through the center of the body uh, very unique looking fish and, and really makes for a nice addition to any community tank with smaller other smaller schooling species or or smaller fish in general smaller to medium sized fish in fact uh, they get to anywhere between about an inch to an inch and a half in lengths. Females getting a little bit larger. Uh, the other types of peaceful fish you might consider mixing them with are things like pencil fish, dwarf cichlids, corridors, corridoris. Uh, some of the other dwarf small catfish would be a good idea as well. A typical type tank setup uh, for them would be something between 20 and 40 gallons where you can keep a school of at least a dozen of them. Uh, fairly well planted, not too bright in light, they don't like too too bright lighting and of course some uh, sea almond leaves on the bottom and a slightly tan stained water would be ideal for keeping a school of these fish. As for feeding the black neon tetra is an avid feeder, it's not a fussy fish. It prefers to feed mid water column although it will attack the surface. The types of food you want to feed black neons are things like smaller granules, fluval bug bites comes to mind in fact freeze-dried foods, flakes, uh, tablet foods, for example, that stick to the glass. They'll attack virtually anything. Give them a good varied diet. Some of those frozen smaller foods are a good idea as well. With regards to water conditions, the black neon tetra is really a very hardy fish. So the pH range is, range is relatively wide. Anything from about 5.5 to 7.5 is well tolerated, do well at that. 6, 6.5 is really ideal for them. Hardness range, 1 to 10 dKH. 4 or 5 is a good value to shoot for. Temperature, 77 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit, which means about 25 to 28 degrees Celsius for those of you who think in metric. And of course, the type of water they like, lightly stained, slow to medium type current, uh, stained with tannins like from peat for example or sea almond leaves great thing to incorporate in there so don't forget to comment in the uh, in the comments below make sure to let us know any other species you'd like us to cover and in order to keep in touch with this fascinating series on the different fish we're going to cover please don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot for watching